guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an exciting video. It is a little get ready with me slash first impressions slash swatch video on the new Jeffree Star Alien palette. I did pick this guy up during the launch and I also grabbed one of the liquid lipsticks. It's a shade I have on my lips right now. This is Karma. I genuinely felt like I could pull off the shade, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Is this like a Karen, you better return that green goop that kind of looks like baby poop on your lips <laughs> or baby food maybe perhaps um i don't know i was i was feeling it i unboxed it and i was like you know what it's a vibe i don't know what the vibe is but it's a vibe and i also want to shout out a subscriber that left me the funniest comment made my day she was like I'm sitting here watching your videos and I you have such great earrings and I always wonder how does somebody in North Dakota have some great earrings and how can I get some of these earrings in Michigan? It was so funny. I literally had to like tell my husband about that comment because it was so funny. I'm so thankful you guys are noticing my earrings. I go in phases when it comes to accessories. There was a time where I was so obsessed with statement necklaces from bobble bar oh my gosh i have so many statement necklaces they're all listed on my poshmark if any of you guys are going through a statement necklace like thing um please take them off my hands because i am on to statement earrings now so i'm obsessed with statement earrings and i've just been picking them up a lot of it is again bobble bar as well as sugar fix which is Bobble Bar's affordable line, which is sold at Target. These ones, I don't know, I was like feeling the hoop earring situation. Like I haven't owned a hoop earring in a hot second. And I was like, I should get some hoop earrings. And like, I feel like they might look better with my hair down, but I don't know, I was going for a vibe. So again, let me know, what do you think of the hoop earrings? Like, are these inspiring you guys? <laughs> anyway, enough blabbering. Let's get into swatching this bad boy. Okay guys, so obviously I used it to create this eye look today, but we're gonna go ahead and swatch. And, ooh, they're so soft. You guys are gonna hear my first impressions in the um, get ready with me portion of this video. Um, so yeah, we've been having a lot of fun today. So we have Pluto, Titan, Alien, and Interstellar. So gorgeous. The thing with green palettes, I feel like all of a sudden there's just like an explosion of them and I don't know what happened because I feel like for sure there's like the warm tone phase and that I feel like has lasted for years. Um, and then there was like the mauves, like the Huda New Nudes, the Lolita palette that's coming out. I don't even, I can't even think, but I, I swear all of a sudden like mauve palettes, there's like an explosion and now I feel like there's greens exploding, especially in the indie side of things like the Melt palette, which I totally like bought and I was so bad at myself for buying it because I'm not a fan of the Melt formula. You guys know this, but I couldn't say no and like I swear one of the greens is like exactly like this, but we'll have to do comparisons, but I swear there's like an explosion of green palettes. Oh. The other mob palette I was thinking of, I feel like is the new uh, Berries and Cream palette from Christian Dominique. So this is the next row. We have Abduction, which is this green neon shade that I used in my crease today. I have UFO, which is on my lid. And then we have Gravity and Martian Soil. Martian Soil is so, like, such a hip color um, right now, I feel like. Um, let me just make sure I'm swatching these right because mustards are so in. You guys saw a mustard in the gold palette by Natasha Denona. I feel like they've, they've been popping up in other collections as well. Who else had a mustard? It's in like the, um, is it in that other palette by Melt Cosmetics? It's called like, I can't think of it right now. But anyway, super gorgeous shade. I didn't use this one today, but it is definitely something I want to try out in the future. I did use a flying saucer in my crease today. Such a pretty green shade. Phone home is a beautiful mauve. I did use moon rock on my lid and then X-Files. My husband is obsessed with the X-Files. And I'm just trying to get my swatches right guys. So give me just like a second here so I can swatch. 
And then I'll turn my arm over and show you guys. It's so hard to swatch, I swear. So here are the next four. So I actually really love this part of the palette. Like, I feel like you should just ended it there. Um, but he didn't. <laughs> he kept going, and so now I'm going to swatch these three, these two, and then the black shade. So I'll probably just switch arms here. I did use Ghost Fog, or I keep calling it Ghost Fog. It's Ghost OG, which I don't understand, but Area 51 is a beautiful purple shade. I'm just going to, uh, it's a little bit patchy, but I feel like I hate the like, oh, purple is so hard to make, like, Nobody cares, like, whatever. Um, Space Cowboy is beautiful. So yeah, we have Ghost OG, Area 51, and then Space Cowboy, which is like an arbor jean. It's giving me like eggplant vibes. Okay, now we're gonna swatch Probe. We have Tall Gray and then Black Hole, which are the last three shades. Oh, this is so pretty probe. I thought it was gonna remind me of the blue brown pigment and it kind of does actually or that shade in the wet and wild palette um, But yeah, you can see this like the bottom half is definitely not my scene Whereas the top portion is like so my scene because it's like brighter shades But I'm trying to get into like the smoky tones and I'm excited for it Did you guys see the new collection by Cleonaud Cosmetics? Oh my gosh, that like totally piqued my interest. I'll throw up a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about, but I kind of may have ordered it on the internet. So yeah, those are the swatches. I get sidetracked so easily. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and get into how I created this look. Okay guys, who's ready to play? I got this in the mail. Was it last week? Oh my gosh, I can't even remember. And I ordered two things from the Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. I ordered from Beautylish. I did get this interesting lip color. I might throw it on, we'll see how it goes. And then here is the outer packaging for the Alien palette. And then here is the actual palette. I don't really love the palette, but I do have his blood sugar palette. And it's kind of like one of my favorite formulas of all time. And so he said in his announcement video that this is the same formula. And I was like, well, can't say no to that. Plus, I love green shades. So I kind of want to try and play with um, the color palette up here, which I love. Um, this green shade is calling to me. So I think I'm going to do some kind of green eye look. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Really don't know what to expect here. Okay, so I feel like the shade Abduction is just like calling to be put in my crease. Can I use this mirror? Potentially. Um, let me just grab a brush. I need to wash my brushes so bad. I'm like using, I've been doing so many good get ready with me. So I'm proud of myself, but that means I have to use clean brushes. And so I run out of brushes faster. This is a Morphe E. 27 it's just a blending brush so you guys obviously don't have to have this blending brush just any blending brush will do um, neon shades don't show up too well on my skin tone I think you want to pack these on with like a white base but you know what that's not how I do my makeup so I'm just gonna do it how I would do it any other day if I was wearing this palette um, because honestly, in my day-to-day -day life, I don't have time to be doing like Instagram makeup looks. And so, yeah, you're just always going to get like basic eye looks from me. And I think that's okay because there's so many beautiful makeup artists in the world. And uh, there's room for everyone. So anyway, just using like big windshield wiper motions. I'm not trying to be precise. With this, I do want you to sh see it's kind of powdery, so it is falling on the other shades, but that doesn't bother me at all. And Teddy just did come in the room, so if you hear him whining, because of course he wants me to pay him attention, um, we're just going to ignore him and act like he's not here. So, <laughs> shade is building up pretty nicely on the lids. 
Hey, that's enough, Teddy. And that is what it looks like. Now, there is a really pretty darker green right below it called Flying Saucer. And I want to apply that in the outer part of my eyelid. So I'm going to go in for another blending brush. This is the M443. As you can see, it's like more tapered. So it's going to give us the ability to concentrate the eyeshadow color. And I'm also almost going to like tap that in instead of blending it. And I'm going to bring that all the way to almost like the middle of my eye. This is a beautiful color. Sometimes when you're working with like pigments, you can't really blend them. You kind of have to like stamp, which is why I don't really buy like a lot of pigments. Because that's just like I said earlier, it's not my makeup style. But I'm trying to be a booty guru, guys. So, Teddy, that is enough. I have a little poof in my <laughs> beauty room. He's sitting on it like he's freaking Buddha. Teddy, you are not special. Wow, that green is so pretty, you guys. I love it. Okay, now what? Okay, so I kind of want to play. I kind of want to play with the shade Ghost. Fog or ghost OG, sorry, what am I saying? Teddy, get out. This shade right here, it's like an army green color. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and I'm gonna really focus that on the outer V just to give it like a smokier look. So I'm not gonna bring that all the way into the middle. And as you can see, it's already darkening up the outer corner. Wow. Love. And then I'm just going to blend it a little bit. It is so hard to hold this palette. It's so heavy. Holy moly. Okay, I'm going to have to switch things around here. Sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. Yeah, you really want to pat these eyeshadows you don't want to try and blend them because like I'm losing pigment every time I try to blend so I have to go back in with that green the one called flying saucer just because I was losing pigmentation from when I used ghost OG and I'm going back with ghost OG and Placing it in the outer corner, like I previously did. Okay, I'm just going to stop because otherwise it's going to turn into a hot mess. And then, oh my gosh, for my lid, I'm so tempted. I want to use Alien. Kind of want to use UFO. Let me just swatch. Teddy, that is enough. These are my options for my lid. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Shall we just do all three? I'm going to see if I can use them without a glitter glue. So that would just make my life easier. I'm just looking for the right brush. Uh, I want like a flat shader because then I can like stamp on the color. Okay, so these are like my favorite flat shaders. This is from Morphe and this is M224. It's actually a concealer brush, but I like it for eyeshadow, so. That was weird. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, I'm getting some fallout. I should probably whip this. I just grabbed like a Milani um, setting spray and I'm just going to spray wet the brush and go back into alien and then I want to use UFO which is like a gold green oh my god that one's so pretty and then I'm going into the shade 
Moon Rock, which is again another army green shade. And I'm placing that closer to the outer corner. And I did re-wet my brush and that helps a lot with the pigmentation. I am, like first impressions of this palette, I don't like it as much as I like the Blood Sugar palette. I think there is a difference in the formula. Um, the shadows remind me a lot of palettes that I don't like, which is like the press in the mats to, you can't like blend the mats. You just have to like stamp them, which is not my preferred way to apply. I don't think you can't do an eye look with this. It's just that, like I said in the intro, for the way I do my makeup, it's not like my favorite. Cause if you can see it, like a lot of the mats have now kind of muddied and also weirdly my eyes kind of stinging. Um, which I've never experienced like it's uh, burning a little bit That's not like unbearable But I can only imagine that that is the eyeshadow that's doing that So that's a little bit odd <laughs> Nothing to be alarmed about I'm not, I'm not worried that my like eyeballs are gonna fall out But it is really odd and I don't have like extremely sensitive eyes So I'm just gonna tap into the shade Titan and it's going in the um, Brow bone and I'm just gonna actually mix a little bit of Pluto in there just to give it some shimmer. I, yeah, that that stinging is weird. I haven't watched any reviews. I mean, I saw like Annette's makeup, shoot, I'm forgetting her um, username. She is doing like 10 looks with this palette and um, she was really excited to get this palette because it was her first Jeffree Star palette, but I didn't watch like her review portion of her video. If I'm going to review a video, I try not to watch reviews so that I don't like get ideas in my head of things that I'm going to say that I heard somebody else say. Um, so I didn't watch her review, but that is weird. And it's this eye, so I don't know. I'll have to try the palette a few more times, but like based off of like my immediate like first impressions, I don't like this palette. Which usually means it's going back. Which is okay because, like, I don't have to like every palette, you know? It's like, it happens sometimes. I love his blood sugar palette, but this one I can tell it's that press formula and not, like, a blend formula, which a blend is so important to me. It just is easier for me to do my makeup. That's just my makeup style is to blend an eyeshadow. And I hate it when I have to just like stamp an eyeshadow. Um, Cause I, it's just not my makeup vibe, you know? And yeah, like you can see my under eyes like green. So we are losing a lot of, I'm just putting that green shade flying saucer under my eyes and so yeah basically I'm gonna put some mascara on and I will be right back with you guys okay guys so to complete the look I figured I just go all in and use this karma liquid lipstick I don't know what I was feeling but I bought it <laughs> apparently I thought I could rock a green look I do love Jeffrey's liquid lipsticks. This shade though just might not be the one. You know what I mean? Which is fine. I knew it was gonna be a red. Okay, I accidentally overdrew my lips a little bit. Also, the thing about this color is I feel like it makes my teeth look yellow. Um, not that they're not yellow, they are. <laughs> Ye actually, in the viewfinder, they look very white. White, white. Um, this is what the Karma Liquid Lipstick looks like. The packaging is stunning. I didn't feel like you could really tell in his video what it looked like, but some of the pictures you can see like red flecks, like a orangey red green, like duochrome flip on these unit cartons, and that's what it looks like. I was pretty disappointed in the majority of the liquid lipstick shades. I didn't think they were anything new. I mean, like he had a blue and I thought that was cool, but like as far as like the holidays, I was a little bit disappointed, but 
I'm just waiting for this lip to dry out. It is a little patchy even though I did layer it quite a bit. And then I did want to show you guys this highlighting palette too. Um, Hannah had seen this on my haul video and she was like asking me about this and I you know wanted to tell you guys as well because I haven't really talked about this since but if you guys are looking for a dupe to the Amrezy um, ABH highlighter this is amazing this gold shade called strobe um, and yeah I think it's beautiful and I looked the way I justified this palette because I don't want to buy any more highlighters especially looking at 2019. I'm not going to go on like a no buy for 2019. I know a lot of people are talking about that, but there are some products I just don't need to buy more of. Highlighter is definitely one of them. So this is one of the last highlighters hopefully I will purchase for this year, but this is that Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, and I really like this. This is that formula I like. It's a big gelée. It glides on your face. As you can see, it makes my skin look beautiful, but it doesn't emphasize texture. This bronze shade is very dark. It is listed as a bronzer. Um, I will probably try and use it as a bronzer more in the summertime, but yeah, I really like this. I know ABH is relaunching the Amorese highlighter, so I'm sure most of you will pick it up. But just so you guys know, too, with that highlighter, I feel like it's a little bit overhyped. It's not any... I mean, the formula is great. I have it. I bought it. But when I compare it to other gold highlighters in my collection, it's very similar to, like, Mac Whisper of Guilt and, you know, all those highlighters that we already know and love that are gold. So don't feel like you have to buy it because it was a limited edition and now they're like relaunching it so this is the final look i'm gonna go ahead and i will be right back okay guys this is the final look i hope you enjoyed watching that portion of the video let me know if you guys picked up this palette what are your thoughts leave them down in the comments because i'm really excited to hear about them i know not everyone loves jeffree star personally i I'm really interested in his makeup so I do like to purchase it but uh, I mentioned it in while I was getting ready I don't love I don't love pressed pigments they're not my vibe I struggle not I don't struggle I know how to use them but it's like I wear makeup every day and I'm just like a regular human being I don't have like three hours to get ready in the morning I have maybe like an hour and that's because I'm like gifted and I don't have like kids yet that I need to like be making sure they have like lunches ready or like a husband that can't take care of himself like real is pretty independent in the morning so I'm pretty lucky to have like a chunk of time where I can get ready but I hate not being able to blend eyeshadows I can't sit there and just like stamp 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 like green eyeshadow into my eye socket and then stamp 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 with glitter so I'm not loving that fact about this palette. I didn't experience that with blood sugar. I feel like blood sugar you can blend the mattes, um, but I've also not spent enough time playing with the blood sugar palette, but honestly like the red shades are so buttery. Similar to the shimmers in this palette, but struggling on, on recommending this one. I can't, I'm not recommending this. This is not a review, so I just wanted to give you my first impressions. Like if you had extra money, and you're like, mm, I don't like need to buy it, should I buy it? I would say no, wait. But if you're obviously a fan, you wanna buy it, you should. I will test it out some more and let you guys know my thoughts. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, I'm gonna sign off. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.